we love to measure up against other people, don't we? And sometimes we don't often tell them we're doing it. We kind of have those people in our minds, friends, peers, coworkers, family members even, who we kind of measure up against and see how are we doing. We use that measurement to determine for ourselves how we are evaluating or judging our own performance, our own lives, our own character even. And this is a very normal thing to do. Of course, you know, we look at we look to our peers to kind of get an idea for, for where we're at. But what I see a lot of people doing is taking this comparison and using it against yourself. So compare and despair. We compare ourselves to others and then we end up not in, in a favorable position from that comparison. So we end up in a place of despair. This sense of I'm not good enough, I'm not talented enough, I'm not good looking enough, whatever it is. Uh, I'm not far enough along. I hear that one a lot. I'm not far enough along as if we're in some kind of race. And the other thing that this does is that actually looking at someone else's accomplishments and then using it against you weaponizing someone else's hard-earned work to to flog yourself to beat yourself down is so unproductive because it totally takes away from their accomplishment one but more importantly their accomplishment can be if you choose it to something to inspire you something to motivate you we all have unique capabilities and i believe that one person is not better than another on a holistic level sure we have talents and unique skills that we might be better at someone else at this particular thing or this particular skill set and when you can find that beautiful harmony of using your skills in a way that is enjoyable and authentic to who you are and also uh, contributing in the way that you feel is appropriate to contribute then you're going to set yourself up for brilliant success and i for one happen to love seeing people thrive in their element because their element isn't my element right they're thriving in their elements i'm like great good for you we need that we need that um example of of how to get over your doubts and your fears and then have the discipline to create something in your life that you're proud of and i will never tell anyone to shut down their light or dim their light that is how i lived my life for a very long time and I don't do that anymore. Or when I do find myself wanting to kind of step back into the shadows, um, I remind myself that it is not doing anyone any favors by dimming my light, and that works for you as well. So one, don't be afraid to um, share what you've accomplished and what you've achieved in your life. You can speak to your accomplishments and achievements and and be proud of them, of course. Um, You know, it takes a lot of guts to to go for what you want. It takes a lot of hard work, discipline, creativity uh, to tap into your your innate talents and passions and then use them and put them out into the world. You know, I have such amazing uh, kudos for everyone who does that uh, day in and day out because I know, (laughs) I know that it's a slog sometimes. And then the second thing is don't use other people's wins to turn that into a loss for yourself. They have nothing to do with one another. Someone else's win is is all theirs and does not have anything to do with any kind of lack or scarcity on your part. You on your own have that ability to create something of your own that, that shines in uniqueness on its own. It's just a matter of perhaps not taking the time because you may be too focused on other people to figure that out for yourself. So. That's my two cents on achievements and accomplishments. If you want to dig further into this, I would love to hear from you. Please DM me and we can talk about how to shine that unique, beautiful light out bright so the world can savor you. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the day. Be well.